Hey, it's episode four of the Book of Boba Fett. Last time, we ended. The there's, there's a whole bunch of people are coming. The Pikes, I think they're called. Do I remember that correctly? And they're here to wreck shit up, and take Boba Fett's super cool Stargate throne. But they don't know that he's got a pet rancor who he's gonna learn to ride. Probably in this episode. And also, he's got this cool Power Rangers speeder bike gang to help him. And potentially, a Wookiee that he set free in the last episode. So we got assets on our side. That no good scheme and mare has uh, teamed up with the opposition. But hey, we'll see how it all shakes out. Also... The Tuscans, who we got to know in episode 2, got to know all their ways and all their traditions, and we got to really form a good bond with them, were killed off-screen. Why did they Why did they do that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what... I don't know what it's called, but let's get into the episode. Don't work for skunk holes. It's not worth it. Yeah, and come back. Come back, dude. We need you. He could take on, like, six pikes, probably. Seven, maybe. Every time we go to this chamber, I'm expecting a flashback. Is he going to go on a revenge mission? These things look so cute, don't they? Oh. Jabba's Palace. This is where we live now. Got a super scope on it? Hey. I, I think one of them is one of the people who works for us now. Not today, old girl. Still too many guards. Let's get something to eat. Yeah. Ooh, I like that image. He needs more than that. Look at the size of him. Here you go. Thanks, dude. Ooh. Are we going to get a crossover with the Mandalorian storyline at any point this season? Because he has to find, like, Fennec in the... Is this where he finds Fennec in the... Did it just literally just happen straight away? Hey, he's still alive. I can't remember what happened to her. Was she shot? Hello. Nice glasses. Anybody? Anybody know a doctor? No. Oh. It's like a cybernetics place. Maybe they can help her too. She needs modification. Yeah, from dead to alive, please. No Cash, dude. Cash. Well, you should have started your bed. It's very weird. This cyberpunk, sort of. It's like The Matrix meets Star Wars. It's very weird. How much of us, her is, is human? Does she know that she's mostly robot? It's oil, oil for your circuits. What happened? You got shot and... You're dying of a gut shot. I saved your life. You got a robotic gut now? <gasps> no, she can feel it. Take the black melon. It will help you recover. It's a lubricant substance. All the body needs. Who are you? I am Boba Fett. Boba is dead. I was. Just like you. Left for dead, like you. you. You're gonna help me storm a palace. They took me and treated me as one of their own. Speed bikers defeated Tuscans? Those JLs. That's highly unlikely. Is she insinuating that somebody else killed him? If I help you, my debt is paid. Yeah. 
but you might get to know me and stick around. Oh, I hope this thing doesn't die. I know we don't see it in the present, but I'm getting fond of it. Any idea how many guards? The gate opens, some come out, some go in. Let's take a closer look. Oh, drum. Hey, buddy. It's time to say farewell, my friend. No! Oh, yes. <laughs> Click it on. I'm gonna miss you too, old girl. Find other Benthus. Make baby Benthus. Yeah, go. Cool. Ah, oh, at least it doesn't die. You're free to roam the Dune Sea. What's next for you? I'm gonna find my armor. And I'm gonna kill that bloated pig who double crossed me. Ah. How many? What does it look like in there? It looks pretty simple for these two, based on what we saw. Oh, nice. There's a lot of them, but they're scattered, you know? Time their patrol and go in quiet. Yeah, one by one. Sneak around. Check out a few. Oh, jeez. I want one of these for my kitchen. <laughs> What was that? Like more rats. Goddamn rats. I will contact the rat catcher. It's it's rather large rats. Call security. Call who? Oh, General Grievous. Oh, the salad is ruined. Let's get to the hangar. <laughs> Hello. The rat catcher. Oh, it's, it's wily. It's quick. Do you know who I am? Oh, shut, shut himself down. Yeah, that works. Can we go now? <laughs> yeah, that was too much madcap mayhem for one episode. I was gonna say it felt like we were in a Disney movie, but Disney owns Star Wars now. It's the ship. Hey buddies, are these the two that are going to end up working for us? Maybe. Not bad yourself. Oh, there's the alarm. I'll handle them. Make sure that thing can still fly. Got it. How do we fly out of here with the with the the thing down? Get on board, Fennec. Oh, great shot. <laughs> She's so damn cool. Next time, we stick to the plan. Next time? Oh, she's digging around. Where are you headed? I have a few scores to settle on. I'll go for the ride. Oh, these guys. These guys. Let's get these guys. No, oh, here we go. Look how quickly the ship is catching them. <laughs> get wrecked, get wrecked. It's a great shot. Love it. And that's score one settled. What are we doing back here? That's where I'll find my armor. Oh, In there. I don't think so. Is it alive? Or did he kill it when he was getting out? Come on. It's too big for you, dude. Jesus, that's strong. Oh, oh that, here we go. It's dead now. Next time, don't touch my buttons. Nothing. All junk. Yeah, it's all gone, dude. It's not safe in there. What you need to find is a back to tank. Are you serious about forming your own house? It's time we took our shot. Okay. I'll do jobs for you, but I value my freedom. I can offer you something no client ever has. What's that? Loyalty. Hmm. 
I will cut you in on the success and pledge my life to protect yours. Hey, that's a good deal. Oh, we're back. We're back. Get out of my chair. Did we just flash forward to that part? Does he have to sleep in that thing every single night? Congratulations, Master Fett. You are completely healed. Hey, okay. Well, that's all that answered that question. Ooh. 20 on red! 20 on red! Damn job! Hey, buddy! What's going through his mind? Oh, is he gonna. It looks like he's gonna kill these people. What's his beef? <laughs> dude, do you just break a bottle over my head? Run for it. I think you've made your point. Your knuckle dusters are more feared than blasters. Yeah. Is it not beneath you to dismember this unfortunate Trandoshan? You have run up quite a bar tab, Santos, so let's say you release this customer, and in return, I will wipe your debt off. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. Nope. Nope, he just took off his arm. <laughs> she was trying to work him. But, uh, she... she failed. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Looks like you could use a job. I can offer you loyalty, dude. And you get to look at my cool Stargate throne. You all accrued wealth and riches under Jabba the Hutt. Are we trying to get allies here, or what? I have no designs on any of your territories, as I'm sure you all know. The Pikes! The Pike Syndicate are mustering troops in Mos Espa. Yeah, we gotta stop them. They have bribed the mayor and are draining Tatooine of its wealth. And why do you deserve to be the Daimyo? What prevents us all from killing you? Uh, our Wookiee? And... And our Rancor? Oh! Ratcatcher dude! Please, sit. Please, sit over the trapdoor. Sit. I am proposing that all the families of Mos Espa join in a defensive alliance until the Pike yeah. Syndicate is vanquished. An alliance. Why should we spill the blood of our ranks for a feud way? Come on, Grinch. Then I will fight these battles alone. All I ask in return is that you remain neutral. Oh, okay. That seems super fair. This will be acceptable. The lizard people agree. Walrus man appear agrees. What about you, Grinch? I abide. I, I don't trust any of these people. Do you trust them? We didn't threaten them or anything. Trust them to work in their own self-interest. Yeah. We were just sort of nice to them, you know? Either way, we must prepare for war. How much treasure do we have in reserve? Treasure? Credits can buy muscle, if you know where to look. Did you? Ooh, 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 ooh. That was the Mandalorian. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are we gonna get a whole bunch of Mandalorians on our side? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that was a cool shot. The ship just coming from behind them. Thundercat. So that was episode four of the Book of Boba Fett, and we finally. Get a proper adventure with Boba Fett and Fennec. Like, proper team up, proper mission. Couple missions, actually. Good to see the show finally connect in a way with the Mandalorian. In the Mandalorian, we see her left for dead, and then we see sort of, you know, somebody come together at the end of that episode, but we don't know who it is at that time. And then here we pick up from that moment. And he saves her life. He bring, brings her to this cyberpunk place where she gets her insides fixed up, replaced with robotic parts. And uh, she is half machine now. Although we don't really know the extent of it. You know, it could be could just be down there in the gut area. Uh, and then they go on a little raid, a little heist mission to get the ship back. 
And that was the most fun part of the episode. Well, I did like I did like Boba Fett and the Bantha's relationship. I was so happy when that poor thing didn't get killed. I just got attached to it, you know? It was hungry, got tossed a bit of meat. And now it's wandering the desert, looking for its own kind. I'm glad they didn't kill it. Uh, then we get to the kitchen, the zany kitchen scene, where we're chasing that rat catcher dude. And... Not only do we catch him, we uh, we keep him around. We still have him. He's working for us now. So, yeah, that was a cool little cool little uh, thing that you might have missed, you know. And Boba Fett's, I'm skipping ahead now to the end. His approach seems to be, be decent to these people. Offer them the best deal possible. Don't threaten them. Don't offer them like. Don't offer them all your gold or anything. But, uh, sure, show off your rancor a little bit. You know, that was deliberate. Uh, but mostly, just say, hey, I'm not interested in your territories. I'm not interested in tributes. All I'm asking you is don't team up with the bikes, and I'll take care of it. And they all agreed. Of course, they're all going to agree. Nobody's going to say no. But can we trust them all? Can we tr trust that Grinch dude? Not a chance. At least one of them will turn on him. But they'll get their comeuppance, in a way, some way. And then we get the little Mandalorian theme near the end, which is a little hint to the fact that maybe, just maybe, we might get some Mandalorian help in the following coming upcoming episodes. Yeah. Good to see Fennec in this episode. We we see her in action. She killed so many people in this episode. Sharpshooter. Stealthy. Has cool little gizmos. Yeah, I enjoyed the the mission aspect of this episode. And uh hey, we got our Wookiee working for us. And that's what I was looking forward to too. Getting him back. He sure is angry. I wonder what that gambling guy did to warrant his arm getting ripped off. <laughs> yeah. And he's fully healed. He doesn't need to be in the chamber anymore. Does that mean we don't we're not going to see any more flashbacks because we only see them. We only see the flashbacks when he's in that chamber and we're sort of up to speed in a way. You know? We see him taking the throne in one of the little clips. He kind of speeds up to that, speeds forward to it. There's still more story left to tell in the past. But I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see any more of that. It's a real mixture, actually, this show, of the Star Wars we know and kind of a cyberpunky feel, and especially with all the mods and the, the music in that mod place. <laughs> Okay, I think that's that's pretty much it. What was that episode called? The Gathering Storm, which is that that's a, that's a classic title for a build-up episode. The Pikes were mentioned, but we didn't see them in action. We didn't see them at all, in fact. So we're gathering a few allies. We're trying to make sure that the Pikes don't get too many allies. And yeah, we're gearing up. We're preparing. We're going to use our treasure to hire some help. And then all hell is going to break loose. Can't wait for it. So thank you for joining me for episode four. Come back for episode five. We'll have more fun. <laughs>